for my little butterflies and this video is going to be my June wrap up so y'all um, I did kind of disappear just for a little while but uh, it's all because I, I started this new job that um, I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to be doing and I'm not really liking it right now <laughs> But 
I, I can't remember if I did a video review for this book, but I know I definitely wrote um, a Goodreads review and I also wrote a review on my blog, so I'll just link that in the description box below so you guys go check it out. But if I did do a video review, I'm going to link that in the eyes so y'all can check that out. The fourth book that I read in the month of June was Night Shift by B.R. Myers, which is a book that I got from NetGaddies and Backlit PR. This book been came out. I was been supposed to read this book, but I just y'all know I got backed up on my neck galleries, but that's not the point. I enjoyed this book. It was okay. I gave it a three out of five stars because it could have been better. I was a little bit disappointed because from the synopsis of the book, I thought I was about to get like a, a horror story, you know, like like some crazy, like dangerous stuff was gonna happen, and I was gonna be flinching while I was reading the book, and it wasn't the case. Like the concept of this book was very weird. But in a good way, I guess. Like, it wasn't a bad kind of weird. Y'all think, I feel like this video is getting dark because it doesn't look so good outside. It's 3 o'clock in the evening, but it, the weather doesn't look like it's going to be too good. So, I'm so sorry if this is dark. Because I think it's dark. Let me turn the light on. Let me see. Okay. Um, I hope that helps. I'm not sure. But, like I was saying, the concept of this book was really, really weird. But I did... It was weird, but in a in a good way because it was different. So it was like it, it was like reading it. It was like you was like, huh? <laughs> but it was a good kind of weird because you don't see, you know, you don't read about stuff like that in books often. It was something new, something different. It was very, it was very much not the expected. But talking about expecting things in this book, a lot of parts in the book were kind of you know predictable it's like not the whole book but a lot of parts throughout the book were very predictable and i didn't like that I, I wish it wasn't because it kind of took away my surprise factor with the book and a lot of times it made me just feel like i just want to start skipping through pages now because it's like i already know what's going to happen like all of this building up make, makes no sense to me to even read it i just feel like in my opinion that that part could have been handled a whole lot better just because it was very, a lot of parts were very predictable. If that part was taken out, it, it would have earned an extra star for me. Because it's like, I wouldn't have been able to kept me on my feet and I wouldn't have been able to guess what the hell was happening next. But, um, I did do a review on my blog and also on Goodreads. My full reviews on my blog, so I'm going to link that in the description box below again. And the fifth and final book that I read in the month of June was Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. And oh my god, y'all. Now, this was a library book, and I just really, really enjoyed this book. I give it a four out of five stars. I loved this book so much. It was just so beautiful. I really enjoyed reading it on an art autobiography in this kind of format. It made it easier and more pleasant to read than what, you know, a typical, you know, paragraph format, you know, autobiography is. Because, you know, with those, it's kind of just boring, and you kind of feel like you're being forced to read it. Because nine times out of ten, you're reading it because you have to read it for school. It's not something that people really pick up on their own um i tell you get older like around my age you know 20s you know late teens but like younger than that you, you're not going to pick something up like that on your own um <laughs> sorry i got sidetracked but you guys this book was just so phenomenal like i enjoyed reading out of this format it's because this the book itself it's written in like free verse kind of format, so it's written in like stanzas and not paragraphs. So it makes it go quicker. You don't get the chance to get bored with any of like the, like you know, usually in autobiographies or biographies, there's like this dry patch through every chapter where you feel like I don't really need to read this. That like eliminates that feeling of dryness in a book. Like I really enjoy reading it. So that lets me know when I go to read Audacity, which is the book that I got, which is about the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory workers and like you know empowering women and shit and because that's written in free verse as well that is going to really make that that makes me less worried about that format because this is the first time that i've read like an actual book book and not you know poetry like a book book in that format so it was really amazing i really enjoyed it that was really good so all in all like wrapping up the month as a whole together i really enjoyed I had a really good reading month, like as in quality wise, even quantity, both quality and quantity wise, I, I had a really good reading month. So June was a really good month for me because I read one more book more than what I usually read and mo just about all, all of my books were good, none of my books were bad, I just wish that A Night Shift wasn't as predictable, but you know, 
it was really good all together so all of my links like as in links to my reviews for reviews are going to be in the description bar so you guys can go and check that out don't forget to go check it out because yeah, you guys need to go and see my full reviews because I don't want to make this video longer than what it needs to be because I feel like it's going to be a little run on it, even though I wasn't trying to make it. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be though, but it might not. I might just, you know, be tripping. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>